Hello and welcome. Thank you for choosing Revel Point. My name is Ash, and I'm going to be your personal helper throughout your scanning journey. That's why I made this brand new series of videos. I call it Revel Bootcamp. And here I'm going to explain you the very basics and helping you to get started every step of the way. And in today's video, we're going to talk about how to use range. Now, range is the latest 3D scanner from Revelpoint, and it got the big span for the big scan. Mm, how big? Like、um, homeware big, like people, or even a car. All right, now let's open it up. Whoa! Look at that. Oh. If you purchase the premium package, you will have this mighty large turntable. If you don't, don't worry, you can always buy it separately. Now,、uh, this bad boy here is the brain of your scanner. All the magic is in here. And here is a mount, and this is a tripod. You can screw your tripod and your mount together, and you can clip your scanner on top of it. Look, here's the button. Press to release. Okay. And you can always switch sides. You can even do it sideways. And the tripod, you can extend it. Pretty cool, huh? Like a selfie stick. And you can flip out the three legs. Now you can use it on the table.、And、by the way, here is a mount in the middle. There is a screw you can use to adjust the angle. Like here, loosen it, change the angle, and tighten it back. Look. Okay, what else I have here?、Mm, another combo is a phone holder and a power bank handle. This is both a handle and a battery. Now you can screw them together, and again you can clip your scanner on top of it, and use this button here, press to release. Of course, you can switch size as you wish. And now, if you put a phone in the middle. And look, now you can walk around and scan with your phone. Well, of course, your phone holder can always go with the tripod, and so does your mount and the battery. I'll tell you what, you can even do three together, like this. Look, and now you have an even higher stand with the battery in the middle.、Um, the large turntable is pretty easy to use. All you need to do is to power it up. And use the switch button to turn it on and off. And also, there is a handy remote controller for you.、Uh, aim it at the IR sensor. You can、uh, control it to pause,、uh, start over again, and you can change the direction. Look. And also control the rotation speed, like make it slower, make it faster. What else do I got here?、Um, two cables. I'll tell you about it later. One Type C adapter, and your manual book, and your quality check and warranty card. Oh, of course, some gifts we prepare for you: a lot of marker dots, a glue tag, and a big black sheet. Before start scanning, you need a software. It's called Revel Scan. Let me show you here. You can get it from revel.3d.com, and here under support, choose downloads. Now、oh, you can see it's both for Windows and Mac OS. Oh, the installation is pretty easy.、Uh, we simply follow the steps. Click your way through it. Oh, if you can't install it on your Mac, you might need to open your security settings and enable app from any source to be installed. Okay, now let's connect your scanner to your PC. One way to do it is with this cable, the micro B to USB A cable. Now plug the micro B end to your scanner here, and remember to tighten the screws. It's very important. Okay, and the USB A end to your laptop. And please note that you need a USB three port. Why not USB two? Because you just don't have enough juice. Okay, now the LED light is red means your scanner is still booting, and when the LED turns green means it's already connected. Now we can open up Revel Scan. Oh, by the way, it doesn't matter when you open Revel Scan,、uh, before or after you plugged in, so don't worry. Okay. And for some of the laptops, especially MacBook, it, you don't have a USB-A port, right? 
So here is a Type-C adapter. And I just put your USB-A end here with the adapter together. And now you can connect to any Type-C port as you wish. If you want to move freely while scanning, you can always choose to connect to a PC via Wi-Fi. Here's how you can do it. Use the same single cable, the USB-A end to any power bank. And here I'm just using the power bank handle, okay? And now go to your Wi-Fi settings on your PC and find this Wi-Fi name, range plus some numbers. Just click and connect to it, no password needed. And the LED light is the same, just wait for it turns from red to green. Uh, note that this Wi-Fi signal here does not have access to the internet, so which means your PC will be offline now. But worry not, Revel Scan does not require access to the internet. Well, of course you can choose to scan with your phone and you can connect your scanner to your phone via Wi-Fi or this two-in-one cable. And plug in this Type-C end to your phone. And note that it only support Android phones with Type-C ports. Why not micro USB? Cause those phones are just too old. And also not iPhones cause iPhones use lightning cables, but you can always choose Wi-Fi instead. And the USB-A end to any power bank. Here I'm using the power bank handle. Of course, you need a software, Revel Scan. You can find it in Google Play if you have an Android and Apple Store if you got an iPhone. Okay, start Revel Scan and the same, just wait for the LED to turn green. Another option, you can connect to your phone through Wi-Fi. Well, I'd use this single cable because the two tail, this little tail here is kind of annoying. And open your Wi-Fi settings. Same for Android and iPhone. Find the Wi-Fi name range plus some numbers. Tap to connect, no password needed. Oh, and your phone will be offline under this Wi-Fi, but you can still make phone calls and texts. And please note that if you already connect your scanner to your phone via USB, you can not use Wi-Fi because it's already on default mode. And oh, you can power up your scanner in many other ways like a wall socket or any power bank you want. Just make sure the output is five volt, one amp or above. And here, this two in one cable, I'd strongly suggest you use it only with your phone. And this power bank handle, here is the switch button and you can recharge it, here's the input. But I would say you find your own Type-C cable like your phone to recharge it. Don't use this one because the both tails are output, it won't work. And sometimes when you start Revel Scan, it might tell you a pop-up message saying that you need a firmware update. It's pretty easy, simply follow the steps. But do make sure you power up the scanner all the time during the update. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bad example, I made a mistake, you see that? Please do not ever put away your scanner like that, okay? Take good care of it, especially the camera. I mean, why not, you, you know, just put it back in the case every time you use it, right? Okay, thank you for watching. Please leave me a like, any comments, any thoughts you have under here. In the next video, I'm gonna talk about how to use Revel Scan. So, see you next time.